Welcome to Bubby's Kitchen, sponsored by Johnny Pomodoro's Fresh Market. Welcome to Johnny Pomodoro's. Hi, I'm Dan, and I invite you to shop local and fresh. Give us the opportunity to earn your business. I'm Joshua Goldberg. I'm here today with Valerie from Franklin, Michigan. Valerie's going to be walking us through her famous rogelach making. I'm going to start by putting two sticks of butter into my mix master, and I'm going to put cream cheese, two cups of flour, oh, wow, and a teaspoon of salt. And now I'm going to turn my mix master on. Okay. I want to be careful. Turn it on slowly, so the flour doesn't, you know, go up. Sure, I got flour's it already is. moving. It's already moving. So I'm going to take the dough now out of the mix master, and I divide this dough into three pieces. Okay. Would you put that cinnamon and sugar, would you sprinkle just sure. a little bit? I will always happily provide a spoonful of cinnamon and sugar, it's some good stuff. Like that? Yep, that's okay. perfect. Great. I can see you're going to be a master. <laughs> And then I'm going to spread this out. Okay. A cup of pecans. Right. Put, it, put that in the bowl. This is this in the bowl. In the bowl. What an amazing cook am I, right? Right. You're good. All right. And then the currants. All right. Wow, this this looks, this smells it's and looks yummy. amazing. Oh, my gosh. It's yummy. So we got cinnamon, sugar, currants, and pecans. Yep. There is no way that this is not fantastic no. in here right now. This is going to be good. Oh, my gosh. My grandchildren love this. And sometimes my grandchildren will come in and I'll look in my freezer to get them out to cook them and they're gone. That's right, they even eat them raw. Right. <laughs> they do. <laughs> well, what? And that is a true story. You've got to roll it from the center out very gently. Okay. Because you're going to make it into a circle. Okay. All right. I'm going to move this out of our way. Okay, great. Would you want to give it a try? I would love the to. Rolling I would love okay. to. So I'm going to roll it from the center. Yeah, about too Whoa. hard. Okay. Too hard. Okay. Lift it up. Okay. Lift it up. Okay. Okay, now I'll turn this over again. Okay. Just take our time. And now roll it real gently. Okay, I'm going to so gently yeah, that's right, from toward the center. me. They'll... Let's go this way. Right. Okay. These and are ingredients you really can't go wrong with, right? No. No, you can't. And if, Josh, if you'll pour a little bit of butter... Okay. In the center. Maybe this much. Okay. You want me to pour into the spoon? Yeah, pour into the spoon. Okay. Oh, it's enough. Oh. Okay. <laughs> I guess that's there. Okay. There. Okay. And then I'm going to take, or you can take the pastry brush and pretend you're painting. Oh, okay. And paint it all over this round circle. Okay. And okay. then, Josh, I'm going to give you some of the some of this. Raisin, pecan, cinnamon, what? sugar mixture, and sprinkle it. So, so Vail, we were we were kind of talking about rogelach, and uh, and rogelach is this is a, a, a an Ashkenazi pastry, right? And rogelach uh -huh. is actually the plural, right? A, 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 the singular is rogela, and these are Yiddish words, but they come from the Polish word rog which means horn. So these are going to end up being little horn-shaped pastries, right. right? I'm going to show you how to cut them and roll them. You're perfect Amazing. at pouring. Now, you're going to cut it in half and in half again. Okay. Good, you're good at it. Great. So, Vel, so we were talking, and I know that you like to collect things. All right? Yeah. So are we going eighths now? Eighths. Amazing. Okay. I love to collect things. Yeah. I love to. I well, for my most favorite favorite collection, and again, I my Whoa. favorite collection is my children's books. I love, I love children's books. Children's books. And I've been collecting children's books for years and years. And and, uh, and then also you were showing me some of your cookie jars that you collect. So you don't just collect books, you collect antiques, including cookie jars. Right. And it's so funny because these little pastries, they're not cookies per se, right? But, right. But uh, do you ever put these in any of the cookie jars? I do. Actually, really? I do use the cookie jars for all kinds of different things. Okay. 
They've got to cook first. I know, I know. But you take this melted butter. Sure. And I like to... Ooh. Oh, yeah. Okay? Oh, yes. This is great. Because everything is better with melted butter on it. Everything is better with butter. So, coating these with now this melted butter... Now you can butter. put them in the freezer. Okay. Now you can take them and put them in the freezer. All right. I'm going to give... I'm going to give this one guy right okay. here a little more. All right. Down the hatch. Aren't they good? What do you think? They're amazing. Wow. These are so great. Thank you. Wow. But you did them. Wow. You know, they are good. Now, I wasn't going to eat any. But, but we're okay. eating them, aren't we? Yes. Yeah. yeah. These are great. Oh my gosh. Thanks for joining us today. And be sure to check out the next Bobby's Kitchen. Always available at thejewishnews.com.